Yo, what's up fam? Welcome back to another episode and a channel where we talk about nerd and geek culture, anime, manga, video games, controversial topics. And here to give you guys a quick update in regards to the Damon Mills situation. According to Binding It to Comics, man who claimed Dragon Ball voice actor Damon Mills did some weird old things to him had rescinded his accusation. That's why I was real careful when I spoke about this last time using words like alleged for obvious legalities. And I do hope that other YouTubers did the exact same thing because this is a very touchy topic. Now, before I go any further into the article, give you guys an update in regards to the situation. Do me a favor, hit the red subscribe button. I'm trying to grow to a thousand subscribers, and I can't do it without you guys' support. Hit the notification bell as well for continuous updates because I post episodes every day. Did you hit it yet? Thank you guys for doing that. I really appreciate you guys' support. Let's get into it. All right, folks. So it says, just days after his statements gained widespread attention across the internet. The anonymous man who claimed Evangelion Rebuild and Dragon Ball dub voice actor Damon Mills did some weird pervo things to him at the age of 15 has fully retracted his initial accusations. What do you guys think is up with that? Uh, let me know in the comments section. Um, it goes on to say, this has all happened between 2012 and 2015. Explained the accuser. I was never 18 during any of this. I was a 15-year-old boy, a minor. Uh, and Damon at the time was 19 year old adult. Now, it hasn't been long since I reported the first uh, episode where I, I, we brought this to light. Um, it didn't take this guy long to retract his statement. That's why people got to be real careful how they word these things, especially on YouTube, because, you know, you can't just go around and saying, oh, he did it. You got to use words like alleged or it was like he was accused of because things can always change you know what i'm saying and we don't know if this guy like i said is doing it for attention or if it's actually really true according to the man over the course of his years a long friendship with mills the voice actor had regularly engaged in non-conceptual actual activity with him while he slept including by caressing his bare body prodding him <laughs> okay uh prodding my Penis through my shorts and even masturbating right next to me. At the conclusion of his lengthy statement, the accuser ultimately asserted there is a lot more to the story and several things I don't want to mention. The point of this is being uh, is to bring awareness to s abuse, uh, sexual abuse. I was underage the entire time we were friends, and he was a grown. Adult. And the anonymous accuser goes on to say, I do not wish to press legal charges as a way to condemn uh, my me being anonymous, he added. However, I just want my voice to be heard and maybe help others who are afraid to speak up. As for Damon, I hope that this has at some point been a learning curve for him and that he had never treated anyone else in these ways. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, fam. I don't know. Because if this is a learning curve, why and if you want to be anonymous, why did you go on to do an interview with Anime News Network? That's what you did. You know, he says, this is the man then proceeded to speak with Anime News Network, whose executive um, editor, Lindsay, uh, whatever, would go on to publish a piece on March 8th featuring further details evidence regarding the supposed situation, such as Facebook and mobile phone text messages, messages as provided by both the accuser and a friend. It, it not, I mean, yeah, you're anonymous by the way of the world not knowing who you are. But now ANN, Anime News Network, knows who you are. I, I don't know. Why go through such lengths? Why go through all of this just to retract everything? Because now, let's just say for the hell of it. Let's just say you lied. You wanted attention. All this is going to do is that when people come out in the future with actual real cases of abuse, people will start to doubt them because of things like this. Now, I'm not saying what he what's going on is not true or anything, but it's hard to believe when you're attracting a statement. And to be fair, maybe stuff happened behind the scenes and maybe he was in person was scared or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just going on the, the basis of if this is fake, 
You're not helping the cause that you're trying to help. All you did was make it a lot worse. Because, like I said, if abusers from who people have been abused by voice actors in the future want to come out, people are going to reference this story. You, you feel what I'm saying here? So, this guy may never hit his episode, but he's, <laughs> I'm just saying, bruv. If this is fake, you did a disservice and it's not looking good. Anyway, uh, the, the voice actor went and put out a cease and desist order in regards to this entire situation. And of course, the actor did not speak to Anime News Network that he wanted to do an interview with him. And then, no later than what? Say so the 15th? March 13th, the accuser once again reached out to Leverage, only this time with the intention of fully retracting his initial claims. At this time, I wish to permanently retract my statements and allegations regarding Damien Mills, he told the reporter. I wish to apologize for potential harm I have caused anyone involved with or affected by this incident. Thank you for your understanding. Nah, dogs. Nah. No, 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 no. You, you, you can't do stuff like that. <laughs> and it's like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause you any trouble. You could have potentially ruined this guy's career. Now, like I said, the damage in the future is when stuff like this actually does happen to people. Now, people are going to start having doubts. You can't blame them. You can't blame them. Anyway, that's why I said, when stuff like this happens, be very mindful of words you use, use alleged, use accused, because you don't know if this stuff is true or false, and people like this guy could come out in the future to retract every single thing he said, and now we have a legal problem. You feel me? Anyway, that's all I got for this episode. Give me guys a quick update in regards to the Damien Mills situation. If you liked my episode and this helped you guys in regards to updates, in regards to voice acting, anime, manga, video games, nerd, and geek culture, hit the red subscribe button. Trying to grow to 1,000 subscribers. And I can't do it without you guys. Subscribe. Hit the bell. See you guys later. Peace.